Wow! I have been dreaming about it the whole my day. About what is all the whole your life? What do you think? What is it? I will tell you. It is. I don't know. I think it's potato. No. Not uh, another cheese. One, another one guessing. Another one guessing. <laughs> cheese. Fried cheese? No, I will tell you. It is ice cream, fried ice, ice cream. Ice cream. I have never, ever, never, oh. ever tried this. And there is my fork. <laughs> you oh, how can you can it with the happy of your hands? <laughs> no, 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 don't do it. Fire! Fire! fire this is a wonderful fire. restaurant. <laughs> and your beloved Tanya, my dear viewers. <laughs> This is very nice place, restaurant of international cuisine, including Mexican and Peruvian cuisines. Daon is number one, and I invited my friends Sasha and Tanya to join me. Let's go. Uh, okay. Wonderful atmosphere here. Wonderful Tanya. Everybody is happy to see you. And, and now this ice cream. We are going to check it because I have never ever tried such ice cream, and it is really very really interesting. Such ice cream looking ice like cream. like a potato, <laughs> like something, but not ice cream. Voila. Oh, okay, God. let me check. What is it? I will tell you everything. I will tell you everything. And, uh, and mm. Mm. great, very fresh, a little bit. And the taste orange. of ice cream. Yes. Oh, what? <laughs> great orange ice cream. And what is it? This crispy, crunchy cover. So I will, I will try both of them. Okay. Okay. Cheese. <coughs> My mouth is watering. <laughs> A little bit crispy, a little bit um, orange flavored and cold and hot. But I so wonder what kind of mixture. material, what kind of food is it? Uh, food, <laughs> this is probably. This is food or what? <laughs> this cover, I mean. Uh, I will try again and I will tell you. <laughs> okay, uh, try again. Oh, my dear viewers. We spent time today in a very unusual restaurant. Its name is Dionis and it's located just somewhere in the outskirts of Moscow, not in the center. And it's a mix of different international cuisines. And have a look what I have. It's a lemonade with a very spicy red pepper. I will try it right now. Wow, and we have we have ordered a great deal of Peruvian dishes. Let's try it together with us Latin American cuisine in a restaurant diaries. And you know, my dear viewers, this restaurant is really unique, not because of open cuisine, but because of international stuff. Uh, here you can see cooks from different countries China, India, Peru and uh, Italy from everywhere Now really we have a great deal of Peruvian dishes today just have a look Peru and this is Sasha you know him very well my friend and he's thinking about I the taste Oh. No, please don't do it because here is Tanya as well with uh, something and very interesting. What is this, Tanya? I'm going to tell you it is salmon ceviche. Can you imagine that it's fresh? Uh, it's seafood. raw fish. Yes, raw, raw fish. fish. But let's try. It's better once try than to see something. Okay. Okay, let me ah. just to try this. And the smell oh, okay. of onion. Oh. I will smell. Oh, very nice and really very fresh smell. Um, so, mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very sexy. Mm. Sasha, stop it. You have your own dish. <laughs> mm. Just amazing. First of all, it's very, very fresh. And secondly, it's very, very fresh because <laughs> Oh, no. Raw fish, fish raw can fish be only fresh. Must be, <laughs> must fresh, be fresh. For 100 okay, of the can cent. I try something? Okay, okay. 
and let's try ceviche together. This is first time in my life I eat just raw fish. Fantastic taste, really. And its price here in this restaurant is only six dollars. Come with us. We're waiting for you here. And today we have a Peruvian cuisine. And Tanya, what is this? So I wonder. I will try another one. Seafood cuisine. It's crispy, crispy mussels, crispy all kinds of fish. You know, squids even. So I'm going to Octopus. taste this. Yes, octopus. Uh, I'm going to taste. So let's try mussels. What is it? It's also fried. To the truth, it's the first time. I have never ever tried fried mussels. Mm -hmm. With special uh -huh. sauce. So like this. And... and... Mm. Good? Tasty? Uh, <laughs> mm. Just say something, mm. please. So the price of this whole big dish for, I think, three or four persons, for three persons, actually. Um, so costs only $11, 11 in menu. So $11. It's not so expensive. Not so expensive, for But sure. I would like to tell that it is very hot. Very, very hot. I like hot food, but... Uh, Let me try. Okay, everything <laughs> for you. I'm going to shake. Guys, who speaks Spanish? This is Lomo Saltado. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. I know only the name of this dish. And I know exactly that uh, this dish will be finished after a few minutes because uh, Sasha wants it so much. It's potato, rice mm. and beef in special and vegetables in special Peruvian sauce. How is it? Normal? It's fine. Fine? Enjoy Ooh, your meal. Good. <laughs> As for me, I love to see <laughs> how Tanya is uh, so each my dear eating. viewers, so you can't believe, but we will continue to degustate, <sighs> to taste, and this is the Peru, you see, it is just the main dish from Chief. Uh, it is just uh, potato and seafood and shrimps. So let's try to eat it okay be with yes. me please i need your support because yes. i am really very full yes mm -hmm. me too mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Very sexy. laughs> sasha is your dish is over <laughs> and what about special, special offer really very very special but i can't even compare with anything because it's really very special i think this is mashed potato yes mashed potato yes it's uh, just from from the center of peru very very specific specific taste i love this restaurant it's to my liking really marinochka what do you think about this very peruvian food i think this is the best but my friends don't think so. For me, this raw seafood with mashed potato is the taste of my childhood, my Peruvian childhood. And now, now we start championship. We are going <laughs> to check it together. And who will be the winner? Who will be the winner? Sasha, okay. I will okay. be the first. I will be the first. I will be the first. So, uh, and now the one Peruvian I, dish. Uh, I will be first. <laughs> and I will be I will the be most be. beautiful. <laughs> like this, Sasha. I, will be. I, I will love my one. friends. They are really so hilarious. <laughs> 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 and uh, guys, I really love this restaurant, this uh, cozy place with uh, a great deal of international cuisines, uh, with wonderful yeah. Deonis team uh, working here and uh, people you see they're relaxed not these people <laughs> they're not relaxed they have a championship <laughs> who will eat more rice <laughs> with uh, uh, with the <their> prawns 
Yes, and you see the guests are also international, and the restaurant is uh, almost full, and it's good to live under sanctions in Russia, in our beloved Russia. We love Russia and um, I think we live a normal life and we enjoy our spending of time with our friends, with our There's relatives. No sanctions, no sanctions here, really, because uh, we live for freely. Dear and viewers, you are always welcome to Russia to try uh, Peruvian cuisine. And we continue. We continue to shoot a video about Latin American restaurants of Moscow and this is the historical center and uh, Casa Acabe, Mexican restaurant. I see it's so beautiful interior inside. And I hear the sounds of wonderful music. I've never been to Mexico. And now I think I have a chance, together with my friends, to feel the spirit of Mexico. And I see Sasha and Tanya are here already. Wow, the main dish of this restaurant, Mexican style. Oh my wow. God, fire. As for me, it seems to me extraordinary, guys. What do you think? Mexican style is overwhelming, really. I think it looks terrific, really, and uh, um, its name is fajitas with beef, and its price is less than twenty dollars, guys. <laughs> Oh guys, fajitas is very, very, very tasty. And Tanya will prove it right Only now. Tomato here. <laughs> yeah. Only tomato. Mexican food. Mexican restaurant Casa Gava and fajitos, fajitos. So let's take a little bit of pepper and the meat and the sauce. So, Don't be angry, Sasha. Не завидуй. Because you don't have such a bread yeah, like we have. <laughs> I would like to share it with you. With pleasure, with great pleasure. Would you like? It's enough meat for him. Okay. 
This is very exciting Mexican restaurant, Casa Agava. And you know, there are still under the sanctions 10 kinds of tequila, national beverage of Mexico, and 12 cocktails, margarita. Can you imagine that? And if you want to have fun every Wednesday, every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday, you can come here and dance. And all these wonderful pictures and all these Mexican and Cuban uh, things uh, were brought from, from these countries, exactly. And have a look at these cactuses everywhere. It seems to me I'm somewhere in Caribbean, in Caribbean region. Mm. And my dear viewers, next restaurant of Spanish and Latin American cuisine is Mama Juana. Let's see. Mm, it's really very, very cozy place in the very center of Moscow. And I see my friends. What does it mean, Mama Juana? Um, it's the name of this wonderful low alcohol beverage. It's very, very healthy, especially for men. I will tell you everything a little bit later. Guys, do you remember my video about Viagra? Viagra left Russia, but here in the center of Moscow there is a restaurant with the, their own special recipe of Viagra. You'll see it right now. Write down the recipe of uh, Latin American Viagra, my dear viewers. So you have to buy um, this plant from from the mini color, yes. Then add rum, after that wine, honey, uh, a lot of love, and after one month and a half you'll get a wonderful medicine. <laughs> Natasha and Sasha will try it right now. And uh, I hope we will see the effect. Mm. 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 Wow. You ask me how do Russians spend uh, their free time. So now you see. How is it? Sasha, don't be upset. <laughs> Sasha decided to drink the second one. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and just have a look. It looks really unusual. It's um, a kind of Cuban salad. Its name is taco and traditional Cuban pies, espanadas con carne with beef and, and sauce, yes, it's very attractive. And this is menu, this wonderful Cuban restaurant and the price for taco, you see, it's only 550 rubles, I mean for this salad. Mm, rather good price for the, for the uh, center of Moscow. You know, my friend Natasha, she lives in Murmansk and she arrived yesterday in Moscow to visit me and this restaurant. Ah, what's she doing? She's eating the plate. <laughs> and now, da 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 da, Sasha will try this traditional Cuban meat pies. 
I know he's fond of eating. And next dish is coming. And the croquette is come on. What is that? Croquette is come on. Spanish croquette is come on. Spanish dish. We'll try to find out what's this. And what about pies? You need to uh, to use uh, sauce. It's very tasty. Tasty, really. Mm -hmm. More tasty than Russian pies. Yes. Ah, you're a patriot. Mm, it looks uh, really very very tasty, and this is croquetas de jamón. Its price is four hundred fifty rubles only, and it's made. It's created from cheese with the hamon inside. Mm, prawns are crispy. Mm. Now we'll see what Natasha will say. Hot <laughs> or spicy? <laughs> Hot and spicy, okay. I am this restaurant, Mama Juana. All the clients, all the guests are involved in this. In this Latin American atmosphere, you see. <laughs> and what about dessert? Of course, you've got Spain churros, mm, my favorite churros, and crema de catalana. Oh my God. <laughs> 